and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at taking a look at the 1.1 uh, uh, update of uh, more ores. Uh, so there was a bug with Silk Touch that was fixed. All merchant spawns and despawns have been revised. Uh, they've also like uh, changed the texture of the jewels. Uh, added a com community Discord server, revised armor and tool stats, improved textures, added a new ores in the Never, added. Uh, Adamantite armor and tools added a new fuel in the nether sulfur armors are no longer subject to malice which was one of my biggest complaints in the original review is that malice is, was just dumb uh cha change stick recipes increase the quantities obtained so when you craft the uh stick the custom sticks and this the metal sticks or rods or whatever, whatever you want to call them you get more per craft now uh, added amulets, uh, um, use your experience to obtain temporary bonus uh, with amul amulets, which can be uh, made from ores found in the nether. So if I go to game mode zero real quick, and I go to, and I search in here, amulet. So there are... Uh, well, three, four, five, six, seven different amulets. There's the Better Knight amulet, which is a enchanted Beno Knight, enchanted Oracle Ingot, and some rope. And there's the Bismuthite amulet, which is enchanted Bismuthite, enchanted Oracle Ingot, and rope. And then you've got the Fire Opal, which is Enchanted Fire Opal, blah, blah. And yeah, these are all the same, except this one uses Enchanted Ghana, so that's a Ghana one. And you got the Lazarite one, which is Enchanted Lazarite. you got Peridot one, which is Enchanted Peridot. And the, the Spinel Amulet, which is Enchanted Spinel. So let's get one of each of these, and let's see what they do. I should also take my arm off, so I can make sure I don't have... Any other effects from it? And I only have 12 durability, so I right click this, uses 10 levels, and I gave me night. Oh, that is one hour of night vision now. Uh, so that was the better night one. The bismuth amulet gave me reabsorption 2, which is. Decent, but again, it is 10 levels uh, for it. So let me just do XP at P on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, L. Hold on. Boom. No. XP amount. Oh. I always get it wrong. At P. Amount so, on. Okay, so if I do L at P, there we go. So next up is the fire rope pull. Oh, it can go in your hand, and the garnet. Uh, I'll just put torch. Okay. Oh yeah, you can put torches in your hand. Why did I think you could? So the fire opal gives you fire resistance for an hour, which is actually pretty good if you're going in the nether. The garnet one gives you speed too for an hour, that's pretty nice. And then you got the lazarite and the peridot one. The peridot gives you haste too for an hour. The Lazarite one gives you Regen 2. Ooh, Regen 2 is actually quite nice uh, on bedrock because healing's quite slow. And then the uh, Spinel Amulet gives you Strength 2. So these are decent effects. I just think it's a bit expensive to, because I, I assume you, to get the, the enchanted um, stuff. Uh, Gems you need to put the gem into enchantment table and enchant it, but let me just uh, give at p enchant one two three enchanting table 
slap that down, give, that's piece, bin, so I just get regular spin now, give, at P or at, Lapis Lazuri. Hmm. Yeah, that's not really The same one with the enchanting table. Give at P stroke. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with the enchanting table. I don't know then. Probably tell you in the book. Yeah. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, like 10 XP is a lot of XP, I guess. Eh. I mean, it seems fine. Yeah, not really that much XP. Yeah, like, if you don't have an XP farm, then it is a lot. Well, also the fact that it doesn't, I don't, it didn't really scale. So when I was like level uh, 20, it still took 10 levels off me. So it doesn't, so it's doing negative 10 L. Well, I think it would be better if we did did the negative XP, so the however much XP you need to get to level 10. I think that would be better, because it's more consistent and... Uh, uh, oh, I forgot to put my headphones on. Uh, it's more consistent and... Uh, uh, oh yeah, because of that, I couldn't hear. Uh, let's just use one of these one more time, just so I can see if there was a sound effect. The sound effect's a bit not quite good. This is the same for all of them. Yeah, I don't really like that sound effect. It doesn't sound cool enough, in my opinion. It's kind of whoosh, I guess. Anyway, um, but yeah, on to the next feature. Uh, amulets, uh, sulfur. Armor's no longer subject to Amalus. Change stick recipes. Added amulets. Uh, introduced the tin ingot to make the crafting of bronze ingots more realistic. Added drops to humanoid monsters. Obtain, uh, obtain pickaxes, ores, and the uh, materials for your new items. Configure in the settings tool. Um, so there's no settings here, so let me go into creative and see if I can find a settings tool. Yep, settings tool right here. So, ooh, a pocket. Yeah, I, hear, I did hear that you added apocalypse difficulty. Your current difficulty level is zero. Apocalypse, if you'd like to change it, please choose new difficulty level from the options below. So I'll, uh, I'll have to like, uh, look into that when that comes up. Uh, so yeah, monster drops. Monster drops enable monsters, monster loot when humanoid monsters are killed. It would be nice if you could like turn off like certain drops, so like, so they, so you could have them like, drop like, or, you know, nuggets and stuff, but you can have them drop like whole ingots or pickaxes and stuff or something like that. Jewel drops, uh, drops enable jewel when the monsters are killed. Uh, so you can turn armor effects off or generation. Enable the or generation of custom ores in your world. And repair kit drops, uh, repair kit drops, able re kit, kit, repair kit loot when monsters are killed, so that's been enabled, so let me just uh, summon, uh, let me put my arm on so I don't die, let's summon a zom zombie, oh is it on peaceful?
There we go. Huh. They didn't drop anything special. Don't know if he'll... Uh... Yeah... I don't know if I'm on uh, the uh, manuelian cleavers. Uh, so the zombies aren't dropping anything uh, new. So let's try with the vindicator. Cause it did say humanoid, so it might just be vindicators and stuff. So some vind. He didn't drop anything special either. Oh, he dropped something special. He dropped a repair kit. You use it on an anvil to repair an object. More ores and tools by Never Pixel Studios. So yeah, you can use them on an anvil to repair your stuff. I'm not seeing them drop any ores or anything. <laughs> Let's try an Ev Oak. Ev uh, uh, Evocation Villager. No. Nope. He also doesn't seem to drop anything special, so either they're just really rare or I don't know. Let me double check in the settings, make sure they are. Uh, no, that's armor effects. Why am I in there? Monster drops. Oh no, it's turned off by default, sorry. So let's try. Oh, it's daytime now. Uh, oh, it's a head. I thought it was a grass block that he dropped. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, it does not, still does not appear that zombies drop anything special. Vindicator. Also, don't seem to be dropping anything special either. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, they've also not dropped another um, repair kit, so it's probably just really rare. Unfortunately, I do not know the odds, so I can't really say. It only says humanoid. It's like, oh, that is a very wide, uh, a very long list of, like, things, like, that couldn't be, like, do you, would you regard the creepers as humanoid? I think they can't, they're kind of human-shaped. I mean, they do have, full, I don't know. Are they skeletons? Are skeletons? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, seems a bit, uh, just a bit big, really. Right. Patch notes. Uh, a repair kit. I did jewels as a drop from humanoid monsters. Oh, yeah. Again, yeah, jewel, uh, yeah, jewel drops. They're in here. Uh, I mean, I get, I'm not really going to be killing a bunch more of them to to see if. Uh, I'm just going to go to game. I'm only in game mode one, so I can just go E. 
jewel. Oh yeah, it's the uh, merchant's jewels uh, that can drop. Uh, what? what am I doing? Uh, I went a bit too far down. Repair kit, added jewels, added damage indicators, configure and then and then uh, added uh, four additional difficulty modes. Apocalypse mode that makes monsters more resistant to your attacks. Settings, uh, setting the stage for new monsters in future updates. To make your survival more exciting, coffee figure and tools. Added a training mannequin to test your equipment. Overhaul the settings tool with a graphical update and more available options. Overhaul the tutorial book. Modify the showcase block for better clarity. Modify the spawn rules for all merchants to appear in a more control in a more controlled manner. Yeah, they were appearing everywhere. Added a handheld lantern to light your uh, in. Uh, Incursions, hammers can no longer break the border blocks. What's border block? Hmm. Yes, will border. So if I go to game mode zero. Land. Oh, hand, oh, hand. Yeah, hand lantern, handheld lantern, it's uh, sulfur, bronze ingots, and glass panes. Now, uh, can you make these settings tool? Nope. Shoo. Make the showcase block for the book and a bunch of al aluminium ingots. I'm just going to give myself it. Uh, give at p show case block. So I place it down. Get this. So let's see, has this changed? If it has, how has it changed? All generation, Everworld. Pause. Overworld ores, Overworld ores, Never ores, and all these are new, so there's Adamant, Adamantite, uh, Sulfur, Orichabre, Peridot, Garnet, Sapphire, uh, Spindle, Lazorite, Fire Opal, Bismuthite, and the uh, Benadrine. Uh, these are the different, yeah, so what, so these are the different tiers of picks. These are what tiers of picks you need to mine the ores. Uh, can I get closer to see? Oh, can I get a spy? Give at p spy. Why do they have these little tiny wooden pickaxes on them? Ah. I'm pretty sure that that is the exact same for the regular and the deep slate. And then these are the nevels and the, the mining levels for them. We got the hammers, blah blah blah, building blocks. And you got the armor, blah blah blah. So yeah, these are so the Adam Adamantine. That's armor. That's new. That gives you fire resistance and resistance. That's pretty good. And uh, so then you got the sticks. You got the crafting recipes, and you get two of each now. Uh, apocalypse difficulties. Dive into the uh, apocalypse. Where were we? From extra loot to a heart pound in danger, it's uh, survival of the fittest, ready to face the end of the world. Uh, 
blocker by blocker, buckle up and the uh, um, and the may the creepers be ever in. Why are the creepers ever in your favour? So yeah, that's just basically telling me what I already know about that. Nothing extra about it. Uh, anything else is join the Discord, report Borg, and reach us. Uh, yeah. So they they have uh, um, tackled some problems. Like there was a, apparently there was a such glitch that I didn't know about, but there's also like um, they got rid of the uh, armors, not uh, giving you like the negative effects, which I was uh, really uh, mad about, but. It ju it still does not tell you what Y level these ores are most common on, and again, there's no there's no way of finding out other than just like try on ever. Um, I really should go around to like um making a video on like what levels are the best for the ores. Um, well, I need to find a nice uh, a good area for. Uh, doing it because what I'll need to do is I'll need to like um like clear like the area of like dirt, sand, gravel, and all that, and the, the uh count up all yours on the different Y levels, and just be like, okay, found this all vein on uh, these Y levels. So yeah, but that's gonna take a while to do. So yeah, good update, but still missing a few uh you know, a few things that it could, it could really, you know, do with, like, again, the Y levels. Uh, the uh, amulet should take, uh, uh, you know, XP off you, not just flat out 10 levels. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, good update. Not really much to complain about. Uh, would be nice if they if the settings, if you didn't have to get, have to go into creative to get the settings tool, um, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that's added in this update that I've gone over. Uh, pretty cool update. Uh, oh yeah, and it, like I said, it could do with like explaining more of like the uh, apocalypse difficulty because it's just like oh the mobs will be it's like very vague on it uh, when but there's like uh, if I go oh wait, no I need the settings tool not that if I go into the settings tool uh, and go to the apocalypse difficulty there's Zero Apocalypse, which is just base, and then there's Impossible Apocalypse, Veteran Apocalypse, Dem Demental Apocalypse, Ultimate Apocalypse! And it's just like, you have four Apocalypse, apocalypse levels, like, it would be nice to know exactly, like, what changed between, like, e you know, what, what each Apocalypse level changes. Like, you've clearly, like, You've clearly put like more thought into the apocalypses and just be like, oh, it should be a bit harder. Uh, they did also say that they might be adding like uh, new, entirely new mobs in the high in the apocalypse levels in the future, which again would be cool. But yeah, I, they just need the problem with this is that it can be a bit vague with some things. Like again, the Y level and just like what that the apocalypse mode actually does. I like the drop chance for each thing is with, and like what mobs exactly drop those things. So like I say it just says, oh, humanoid mobs. So it's like, there are zombies and skeletons included, or is it just like vindicators, evokers, and rab uh, not ravagers, um, vindicators, evokers, and. Oh, what's the third one? I don't know. And do villagers count? Like, it's just. A bit too vague, for in my opinion. And it, uh, while it's uh, good to not like explain, you could say it is good to not explain everything. Uh, but it's just like, if, I, if somebody doesn't want to like everything explaining to them, they could just choose to not read the guidebook or that part of the guidebook. 
Um, and if someone that, uh, you know, doesn't play a lot of Minecraft, you know, they only have, like, limited hours of play and they don't want to be constantly, like, try... They don't want to be spending all that time just, like, try trialing and erroring and looking for, like, what... Uh, you know, going to a random Y level and uh, hoping and praying that uh, on that Y level is the all that they're looking for. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a good it's a good update, but could be it just needs to to explain the mechanics a bit more more, and it, uh, it'll be really great. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And the bye bye.